Christina Aguilera puts a beautiful show at her first ever Israel concert. On Thursday night, pop icon Christina Aguilera performed in Israel for the first time, wowing thousands of fans. Shalom, she shouted to the 14,000 people who gathered to Rishon Lezian Live Park to hear the Grammy winning artist. It's lovely to be here tonight. This is my first time here, and I'm very excited. Aguilera began the event with her 2002 single Stripped, followed by the dance anthem Dirty. It was difficult not to feel it when she sang of sweat dripping over my body in the sticky, humid August air, as thousands of people danced and sweated along. The singer chose her wardrobe for the evening regardless of the weather, beginning in a leather jacket and then donning leather gloves that extended past her elbows. Despite the heat, her diligent backup dancers kept going all night, with glistening sweat apparent on every jumbotron. Aguilera, who played in Turkey earlier this week and in Denmark on Saturday, informed the audience that she had damaged her knee shortly before leaving for the tour but was determined to come even if I might not be able to do all the things I normally do. With her characteristic strong voice, Aguilera worked her way through her hit list, proving to her millennial following that she still has it at 42. Most of the audience sang along as she played her debut hit, Genie in a Bottle, released in 1999, followed by the contemporary What a Girl Wants. The singer invited a special guest on stage for a duet of her power ballad Hurt, local pop artist Eden Ben Zaken, who played the song in her audition for the hit Israeli TV show X Factor a decade ago, launching her career. I heard a story about someone who is quite popular here, and paid tribute to one of my songs, Aguilera told the audience as she welcomed Ben Zaken on stage. And so tonight I would love to bring this special young lady out on stage. The Latina singer performed songs in Spanish, such as Santo and Desnudate. Aguilera, who grew up in the golden era of teen pop stars with Britney Spears, Jessica Simpson, and Mandy Moore, prefaced her 2002 hit Beautiful, a song about loving yourself no matter what they say, with an English-language message on screen about the impact of social media on body image and mental health. She closed up the event with the 2012 anthem Fighter and Let There Be Love, a musical homage to her followers.